Hello everyone, my name is Greg Bennett. I'm holding a TR1, and this is one of the models in the Torino series in the Greg Bennett guitar line. I'm going to take you through the features, and we'll just start right up at the headstock and work our way to the back of the guitar. Our uh, offset uh, design headstock we're really par proud of. That's a big part of our brand identity. But it, the headstock also offers you a tremendous opportunity to create some mechanical advantage and improve string performance, things like attack and sustain, simply by how you design the headstock. And you'll notice that most of our headstocks are a bit smaller, and that reduced size reduces the resonant surface of the headstock. And what that means is if you have less resonance up here, you're pulling less energy from the string. Because remember, anything on the guitar that's moving is moving, is taking, I should say, energy off the string. So you can actually pick up a bit of attack and sustain through this. You'll also notice that our machine heads are configured so that they converge rather than flare. And by designing it that way, we create a fairly straight string pull through the nut. And anybody who's uh, gone through the frustration of trying to tune a guitar with that little snap or click that happens when the string binds in the nut because there's too much angle one way or the other. That's eliminated. We also use, uh, in this case, a black graphite nut, and that's turned out to be a wonderful material because the physical properties of that uh, nut really um, offer nice tone without being too brittle and uh, it's almost as if it's self-lubricating, so you get a nice, smooth string pull through the nut. You'll also notice that we angle the headstock back, and that by cocking the headstock back, what we do is we sort of increase the string angle over the nut as well. And as you increase that string angle, you increase the bearing pressure of the string onto the nut, and you, you sort of create a much stronger uh, contact point. What that does is it keeps the energy on the string. In other words, the energy goes up to that point and it can't sort of pass over or dissipate into the headstock. We also use these really nice die-cast machine heads on this guitar. It's a sealed, lubricated gear with a nice 13 to 1 ratio, and it makes your tuning very smooth, uh, very glassy. You're not struggling going back and forth past the note, obviously in chrome. And also, because it's a bit smaller, the headstock, you're, it, there's a comfort factor involved. You're not having to hold up the neck of the guitar all night. Now, the neck, uh, we use a wood called NATO, which is like mahogany in characteristics. And it's a great wood for necks um, because you get a great stability. It's a tough wood. It's strong. But it also has great tonal properties. So you're not, um, by the neck material, you're not creating a, an overly edgy or brittle sound. It keeps its warmth. And on this kind of guitars, you'll find out that's really, really important. We use a rosewood fingerboard, and rosewood is really ideal for fingerboards for a couple of reasons. One, since your fingerboard is exposed, and, and the reason for that is at some point, you may want to have some fret work done. Uh, you can't have a finish on it really and do that properly. So it's so the oiliness in the rosewood lends to that. Also, it's a very dense, hard wood. And what that means uh, is you're not pulling energy off the string. It's sort of a proximity effect. It doesn't deaden the string. It just lets it remain really lively and uh, lets the energy stay on the string. As always, I try to put a little bit of a roll or a soft curve on the edge of the fingerboard. And that just makes the guitar, or the neck, I should say, feel really soft in your hand. When you have a harsh edge and, and your thumb wraps over and you try to bend, it just feels hard on your hand. Almost, it, it, In fact, it, the, that rolled edge can actually make a set of 10s uh, or even 11s feel like a much lighter gauge set of strings. And this neck, uh, uh, because of the style of instrument, you have a really uh, a tremendous amount of exposure. You can get right up to the neck. And so that we maintain the stability in that, we bring the neck, the uh, heel forward, and make that r really a nice, beefy, massive contact. And that, again, that rigidity that you pick up there by that little bit extra mass just keeps the neck from being a, a sort of a shock absorber and pulling uh, energy off the string every time you hit a note. This, again, these cutaways just let you get full exposure. Anybody who, uh, who does a lot of lead work and wants to be up high is great. Not to mention it just looks incredibly cool. 
as you follow down to the bridge, you'll notice that we, have, we employ the same ideas at the bridge as we did at the nut. Uh, we have a lot of neck angle to the body, and that allows us to have a lot of string pitch over the saddle. And again, as you increase that downward angle, that pitch, you will create more and more string pressure right at that contact point. So the attack, the sustain is enhanced. You're picking up string performance. Uh, we also, on our bridges, I hope you can see that, we have a really uh, a nice flange base on the stud and an oversized stud that makes that bridge really stable. When you hit a note or hit your string, that, in, that bridge isn't so flexible that it kind of pulls energy off the string. So again, heightened string performance. Also, for people who uh, uh, want to have a lot of mechanical control over your tone, not, not just uh, the circuitry in the, in the tone controls, but uh, actual control over the f sort of the physical sound. When you take that stop piece and you lower it, you create more angle over the saddle and you get a hotter, more intense sound. If you want to warm up the physical sound of the guitar a bit, just raise that up a little bit and the sound sof softens and warms up. Um, we also, uh, in as many guitars as we can, we use this Duncan Design pickup. We have a great relationship with that company. They have spent decades refining uh, electric guitar pickups. So it's just a, a fantastic blend of, of tone and warmth, but clarity and definition. They, they really uh, have sort of written the book on this thing. This body, uh, is also NATO, uh, again, a very mahogany-like wood, and as you'll notice, it's rather thin. So what that does is it puts a little bit of resonance in the body, which just thickens up the harmonic content. It makes for a very uh, rich, full sound. It's almost, uh, if you're playing through an amp that's distorted, it, it gives you this wonderful uh, sort of vocal sound to it. It's got that, that clarity and that intensity but there's a warmth to it also that is just tremendous. Um, obviously, you have a toggle switch that lets you select between your bridge pickup, your neck, or a combination of the two. Also, I, I always like to suggest that mess around having both pickups on because very often we go one way or the other. When you have both pickups on, you're put in a situation where just by playing with the volume controls, you can weight one pickup against the other. And again, what you're doing there is is um, kind of sculpting your tone but in a mechanical way because this pickup sits under a part of the string that's throwing off more treble and this is warmer. So you're doing it, uh, you're not doing it through circuitry, you're doing it through the mechanics of the guitar. Uh, you also, as I think I may have said, you have a volume and tone control for each pickup. And this guitar, I think why so many people love it, especially a lot of guys who are sort of crazy on stage, it's a bit light. And uh, that, that, for a lot of people, is just a great, great benefit. So um, tremendous access up the neck, a great, warm, rich sound, a very vocal um, kind of quality when you're really um, playing loud, uh, a nice light instrument, so stage work is comfortable, and uh, just a great, fun guitar, a lot of energy visually as well. So this is a Torino TR1. Check one out. We just went through the various features on this guitar, and I think it's time that we plug it in and show you what it'll do.